Julia, what did I tell you? You better not go talk to him ever again, okay? <gasps> Ugh, my daughter's all, my daughter has a boyfriend and it's it's not good. Hey girls and guys, we decided from Sai Let's Play and we are back with another episode of the 100 Baby Challenge and we are starting off right where we left off with my future husband, Rudy. Um, well, you see, what, what, what was happening is we we're, we're in this cave and I was trying to find gold so that Rudy and I could get married because we need, you know, I, I can't afford the bling bling. So he won't marry me without it because he's a gold digger. Um, but that's okay because he's cute. So, you know, <laughs> it's worth it. Hey, Rudy, get over here. I didn't tell you to stop following me, Rudy. All right. Don't be disrespectful. Um, so, yeah, we were in the cave and it started getting really dangerous. And you see, it's really dark in here. So I'm a little scared. What the heck is that? <laughs> what in the world is that? Why is there a dog bath down here? I think, did my game glitch out or something? <laughs> Why are there dog baths? Anyway, Rudy and I are down here and life is really dangerous if you don't know in a cave without torches. And of course, uh, I will do anything for my future husband. So we're out here trying to find what we need to, okay, why the heck are there so many dog baths? <laughs> Rudy, what the heck is going on? Rudy, oh, oh my gosh, Rudy, don't, like, be careful. Let me get some coal, because if we grab the coal, we can make more torches and be a lot more safe down here in this cave. Come on, Rudy, let's see how many more dog baths we're gonna find around here. We need to try to find a cave. We need to try to find what we need to get, which is the good stuff, but so far we've had no luck at all so let's make some more torches there we go we've got eight i'm hoping there's like oh yes there's some gold here oh my gosh i don't know how many you need for a ring i think it's about nine or something because it's the whole thing not all filled in no it's eight it's eight i think so let's hope we got enough oh we do okay is it eight it's one two three four five six seven eight why do i only have six Oh, because it's there. Oh, Rudy. Rudy, guess what? Me and you are going to get to get married. Um, he already is in love with me fully, so that's good. All right, Rudy, we got to get out of here. We'll come back another time, all right? Come on. I don't want you to fall out of love with me, and we need to go check on our children. So we need to head back home ASAP. So hopefully we know the way back. I hear zombies. Rudy, come on, hurry up. Rudy's always so slow. Like, he thinks we got all the time in the world. Like, Rudy, we're out here close to death. Can you please hurry up? Okay. Um, I'm hoping I, go I have a really bad sense of direction. <laughs> and so just Rudy. So we're kind of in a little bit of a pickle right now. Because uh, if we're lost, there's no way we're going to know our way out. Okay, it's not that way. See, I got my torches. So I know where to go. I'm going to use them to take me back. Okay, uh, the problem is there's no more torch after. Oh, 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 I think we got, okay. I think we got to go up, Rudy. Come on, Rudy. Okay, let me break that block for you. Rudy, stop playing in the water. This isn't a time for you to take a bath, all right? This is like time for you to hurry up and get out. Rudy! Men, they just don't listen. Oh, there you are. <laughs> just kidding, Rudy. I hear a skeleton. Uh-oh, Rudy, hurry up. We actually made it out. Oh, oh, don't do what I did, Rudy, because I don't want you to die, all right? I love you, and I want you... Oh, oh my gosh. I told him I loved him for the first time just now. Oh, so cute, so romantic. Let's go up here. All right, so we are up now. It is about to be nighttime, which is good that it's not nighttime because then that means our children are safe. So I'm going to have to put these in the furnace. And then once they're cooked, I am going to propose and marry my true love, Rudy. But it's not, he's not really my true love. What happened there? Oh, my gosh. Um, he's not really my true love because as soon as like uh, we have enough kids, I'm going to dump him. So, but don't tell him that yet, okay? I don't want him to be heartbroken and stuff because he'll be really disappointed, you know? Um, all right, here we go. Let's go to bed. I need you to go to sleep. Rudy, just stay where you are. <sighs> just gonna take a little nap. <laughs> okay, hurry up, get up. Okay, there we go. All right, my children are safe and that's all that matters to me. Rudy, you like, you're important, but you're not that important. You could die and then I'll find someone else to marry, to be honest. But my children, I need them to survive. 
because they mean the world to me, especially in the 100 baby challenge, because let's be honest, I need 100 babies and we're only at five. <gasps> we got to like pick up the process a little bit. All right. Oh, we have enough. All right. Perfect. Uh, where is my crafting table? I really, really need to like start building and kind of sorting out my life in this village and making it safe. So in case I'm not here at night, my children are still safe. All right, Rudy, where are you? Rudy, Rudy, you have to marry me. All right, let's at least like go somewhere nice. All right, come on. I was just going to marry him right there in the doorway, but that's not really romantic, is it? <laughs> All right, let's go by the beach or by the river or by the lake or something. And that's where I'll ask you to marry me. I think that's how I proposed to my first husband, Carmen. <laughs> Sorry. Please don't tell Rudy that, okay? <laughs> Where? Is there no ocean? Uh, Sorry, Rudy, there's no ocean. So we're going to have to get married near this little pond right here. <laughs> Only the best for my man. All right, Rudy, here we go. All right, let's be romantic. <clears throat> Rudy, when I first saw you, I knew it was true love. And that's why I killed my first husband for you. <laughs> but don't worry, I don't plan to kill you. As long as you promise to divorce me when I ask you, okay? All right, here we go. Here you go. Take the ring. Have fun. All right, there you go. Are we married now? Yay, we're happily married now. Congratulations to us. <laughs> okay, so um, let's just, let's just flirt a little bit. You bet I am. Oh, yes, hug me. First of all, you're going to want to say huge someone else. Rudy, you need to learn how to spell if you're going to try to throw shade at me, all right? It's hug someone else. Wow, we've only been married for like five seconds and you're already being disrespectful, Rudy. Give me a kiss. <gasps> Go take a drink from the lake. Okay, Rudy, you better stop because I will end up killing you like I killed Carmen, okay? I didn't want to have to go there with you. Just fine. Let's just go ahead and have a baby. Let's just forget about it. I'll divorce you real quick. Hmm. Okay, just give me my first child. Thank you. We're having a little baby girl. Yay. Okay, we need to pick a name. So this baby name suggestions, which we're taking from the comment section, comes from Alice Cat, and she said, name a girl, Luna or Lola. So we're going to go with Lola, only because I thought of this. As soon as I saw the name, I thought of a song, you know, like that song that goes, Lola Lolita, or they call her Lola. Lola Lolita. I'm pretty sure that's not how the song goes. I'm pretty sure I just made that up. <laughs> anyway, there's a song that sounds like that somewhere where it's like, okay. Hey, Sida, you look hungry. Would you like to cook something? Oh, would I like you to cook something? Yeah, sure. Just kidding. No, because it's going to taste horrible. Look, Rudy, don't try to be all sweet now after you disrespected me, okay? Now that I have my daughter, I don't need you until she's like hatched. So I'm going to leave you at the house. You can go live your life, do whatever you want. And then I'm going to go chop some trees down because we need to build some kind of fence or wall that surrounds this village to keep everyone here safe. So for that reason, Rudy, go over here, Rudy. And you could stay here, all right? You could stay in my home until I get rid of you somehow. I'm not going to kill you. Maybe divorce. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> Good. Move freely now. All right. So we have Lola here with us. So one of the things that we need to do is we need to not only build a fence around the whole village. I need to build a house for my children because they're getting too old to be living with me. You know, like it's time for them to move out and live their lives. So for that, we're going to need a lot, a lot of space. So let me start off by I wish I had some diamonds. You know what? I'm not gonna mine on camera, but I'm gonna go on a huge mining trip um, just so that I could get everything that I need and like uh, diamond weapons and stuff and diamond tools because it's gonna take way too long for me to sit here and do this all day. Like this is gonna take way too long and ain't nobody got time to do this right here. So I need to clear off a lot of area. So we got, we need to do, we need to have a project board. <laughs> yes, we do. I wish I had a whiteboard on here. So we could be like, okay, let's see our to-do list today. What do we have to do first? So what should I do first though? Should we 
you know what? We're going to have to do like a lot. Okay, so hopefully by the next episode, what I plan to have done, so it's not boring just watching me break blocks because I don't want to bore you guys, <laughs> is I'm going to go ahead and clear off the land. Like I'm going to leave those little houses and stuff, but what I mean by clear off the land is take down the farms and then from there... I will like start the next video and we could start planning out where the houses are going to be, where the farms are going to be. Because we got to start feeling, feeding the village villagers around here because they're going to be hungry too. Like even though I'm not married to them, they still deserve to be taken care of. You know, I'm like the president of this village and as president of this village, everyone gets hot cheetahs and <laughs> a McDonald's iced coffee. <laughs> sponsor me <laughs> not sponsored <laughs> all right so let's take this down so here's a plan we got to build a much bigger house because that is way too small we need to build like a five bedroom home so everyone has their own bedroom and it could be seen for every baby like Lola, when i think of lola lolita i think of like super cute everything is like adorable and like just like a really cutesy cutesy kind of room but not all my children are like that like Let's go see. Let's go. Let's go see how they turned out. How they turned out. Like, see, Sophia. She just likes to focus on her education and going to school. By the way, there's no school at this village either. Like, my kids are gonna grow up to be dumb, and I don't want them to be dumb. Okay, I want to raise smart, intelligent children. Zachary's like the cool dude that he thinks he's too cool for school. And then like, Eddie, what you doing here? I hope you're just here to protect my children. Okay. Don't be talking to her, Rudy. You're still married to me, okay? Ricky is like the smart kid, you know, very doesn't talk to a lot of people, very shy and stuff. So, you know, we've got to start. Wait, where's all my kids? One, two. Oh, okay, we've got, okay, wait. We got Cy Jr. Okay, one, two, three, four, and then, okay, five. Whew, all my kids are safe, good. Whew, I didn't want them to all be dead, you know, because that would be really bad. I've kept them alive, which is amazing. The fact that no child has died yet is just the greatest thing ever. So let's cook up everything that we found. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with these little dog bath things that I have. I have so many of them now, but I have no idea what we're going to do with them. So let's put this stuff away because I did get a lot of things from mining. Um, This is the food. So we'll put this in here until we could do the farms. And then we'll put all our blocks in here. All the building blocks. And we'll put wood in here just to keep it a bit more organized. And then wool could go in here too. So we're good now. All right, so let's go check. The baby's going to be born in like two minutes. Ah, I'm so ready for this. Da, da, da. Mm, mm. Oh, another thing that we need is we're going to need to take down that sugar cane because I'm going to need to make paper to make those divorce documents. I'm going to need a lot of divorces. All right. Should we go say a few words for Carmen? <laughs> Look, Carmen, most of us hated you, but some of us loved you. In the comments, some people were saying, rest in peace, Carmen. So, I mean, that's a good thing, right? Look, I'll, I'll leave you some water in case you get thirsty. <laughs> See? So the little birds will come here and get water and stuff, and Carmen will be at peace. All right, don't feel bad for Carmen. He was murdered by me, but it's okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, one minute left. Oh my gosh, it's going to be nighttime. I don't want to hatch her until it's the next day. Oh, whoa, look at these two over here. They're like dancing. I saw that, Lawrence. Lawrence, don't be shy. I saw you talking. Lawrence, Julia's my daughter. You better back off her, Lawrence. All right, you better leave my daughter alone. Okay? All right, she might be an adult now, but you better back off. Julia, what did I tell you? You better not go talk to him ever again, okay? <gasps> uh, my daughter's all, my daughter has a boyfriend, and it's it's not good. It's not good, you know? It's like when you have kids, they're always going to be your little baby. So when they grow up and they want to get married and stuff, you're just like, please don't leave me. <laughs> Wait, how many kids do I have? Do I have six kids? One, two, Cy Jr., three, Sophia, four. Oh, yeah, it was five. Okay, good. <laughs> I forgot all about her. <laughs> my bad, Julia. I'm trying to go to sleep because my baby's ready to be born and the sun. Hurry up. Go down. Let me open the window because I think one of my children farted. You nasties. Mm-hmm. <gasps> there it is. Oh, she was watching the sunset. How cute. Sophia, Cy Jr. Okay, and then we got the two boys in there and then we got Julia. Okay, time to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. I want... um. Rudy to be there I should have named our daughter Judy 
Rudy and Judy and Tootie and I can't think of any other words that rhyme with Udi, but whatever. Booty. <laughs> we can't name our kids that. All right, stay here. Okay, kids, get ready to meet your little baby sister. Oh, look at Lola Lolita. Lola Lolita. She's so cute. Oh, she kind of looks like Sophia. Oh, Lola. How are you? Want to hear a joke? My friend's dad is cooler and funnier than you. Okay, first of all, Lola, you just hatched into the world. You better... You, what is up with my family being so disrespectful to me? All right, you don't, you don't even have friends. <laughs> oh, that's kind of mean. I just told my daughter she has no friends. You will make friends, but you just hatched into the world. You don't know anyone. What are you doing today? I'm trying to teach you some manners. That's what I'm trying to do. All right? Oh, oh, can we climb a tree too? No, I'm telling you, I'm trying to teach you about manners. Okay, fine. I'll go take you to climb a tree. I like to make my children's dreams come true. If my daughter wants to climb a tree, I will make her climb a tree. I will find the biggest tree and she will climb it. I'm just kidding. Not the biggest one because I don't want her to die. But we'll, we'll climb a tree if that's what she wants. All right. So here you go. Here you go, Lola Lolita. Lola Lolita. Come on. Lola. You said, there you go. There you go. You wanted to climb a tree? You've climbed a tree. You've got to live your dreams, girl. Yes. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. So we're ending with a new husband and a new baby, which I think is a good achievement. We are now on baby number six. We've got 94 more to go. Yay. Oh, my gosh. Hopefully we could, like, pop out two more children next episode and we'll be good to go. We'll start getting things going again. It's so hard to marry people on here, though, because they hate me. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> anyway you guys once again i'm gonna go ahead and end it here if you have a baby name suggestion let me know in the comments down below and i will pick a random one for the next episode if we have a child once again i hope you guys had fun watching and i'll see you guys next time bye